Hello, my name is Chris. For today, I'll be installing Uptime Kuma on COS OS. So, uh, this series is about a home lab. So, I'm going over installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you uh, are interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. So, Uptime Kuma is an easy, a self hosted monitoring tool. And it, it features HTTP and HTTPS test, a TCP, HTTPS key, a keywords, a JSON query, ping, DNS record, push, and then it can send notifications to 90 plus services, 20 second intervals on ping times, a multi-language, multiple status pages, map status pages, specific domains, ping charts, certificate info, proxy support, and two-factor authentication support. So, we're gonna get to installing it, and this is what it's, it, it could look like with, with, with your services over here and your ping times over here. So I created a Docker Compose so you could easily copy and paste it. It will be down in the description so you can get to it easy. So, we're starting with version three of Docker Compose. We're gonna add services down here, Uptime Kuma, uh, I image, is coming from Docker Hub, and then version one with the tag. Container name is going to be Uptime Kuma. Restart always. That means that if you stop it or anything like that, it'll always try to restart. Port ports are 7200 on the host and 3001 in the container. Volumes, data, Uptime Kuma, and data. This is going to be on the host side, and this is going to be in the cont container side, and it's going to sync back and forth. So I copied the gist uh, that I had over there and I explained it to you. I copied that to my clipboard. And um, so I'm gonna go to the App Store. And if you search on the App Store, you'll see Uptime Kuma right here. But I installed this and it was an outdated version. So you can't always depend on the, uh, the App Store apps to be updated. So I'm gonna install an updated version. So I'm gonna go to custom install right here. And then I'm gonna go to import, and I'm gonna import my Docker Compose. I'm gonna say submit, and then it tells you some things. So I'm gonna put 7200 on the port right here because this is on the uh, the host side. I'm gonna name this Uptime uh, Kuma, and then you can see that the host port 7200, 3001, and it's setting the volume right here in the container so this looks good so I'm gonna install right here and while it's installing you can continue in background so it's extracting it it's getting down from docker hub everything like that Uh, it's downloaded a newer image, so it's almost done. It looks like it's starting up. Okay, it looks like it started. It for some reason it's stuck right there. I'm not sure why. If I refresh. Okay, now we can continue with the setup, but I'm going to actually go in here in the settings and I'm going to uh uh cha change it to a custom icon right here so it looks better. So now I'm going to make this look better and have the uptime kuma icon right here. So I'm going to go into settings right here. And then I'm going to go to icon URL and then I'm going to paste in an icon that I have 
and you can see what it looks like right there so I'm gonna say save down here so now what we have a nice new icon and we can uh, go to Uptime Kuma now so now I'm gonna set up Uptime Kuma so I'm gonna click on the icon right here I'm gonna go to create your admin account I'm gonna put a username in and a password in And then now it's all set up so you you can add a monitor over here so you can just add a quick one real quick and then now let's go down to save and you can see it's pinging it and it's uh, saying it's up so now I just set up Uptime Kuma. I walked you through step by step on installing it. I did not install the App Store version because it's outdated. So, um, so if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or need support, you go down to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. So stay tuned for more.